As Catholics and as Christians, we're never meant to live our faith in isolation. We're never meant to make the journey all by ourselves. And God places special people in our lives to help walk with us on our journey of faith so that we can help each other ultimately lead one another closer to Jesus and to heaven. And we can see that throughout our sacraments. The sacraments are uh, that those special ways in which we know in a tangible way God's love for us. And God strengthens us through the sacraments. But even in those intimate moments with God in the sacraments, he often gives to us special people to walk with us, to be with us. We take a look, for example, at the sacrament of baptism. We have the parents on one hand who bring their children to the church to be baptized, to, to bring them up in the practice of the Catholic faith. And then we have godparents who say that they uh, are going to do all that they can to help the parents raise a child up, to be uh, outstanding Christians, to lead them to heaven. We take a look at the sacrament of confirmation. Our confirmandi have a sponsor, again, somebody who lives their Catholic faith and can be that encouragement and that strength to uh, the young person or the older person who is ready to receive that special strengthening through the power of the Holy Spirit. And we also think now of the sacrament of matrimony. In our parish, we are introducing a new program called Witness to Love. And this Witness of Love program uh, really allows the engaged couple to learn from another married couple in our parish, a good practicing Catholic couple who strive to live out a marriage of true holiness in, in leading uh, their spouse to heaven. And so uh, this Witness of Love program calls the uh, engaged couple to pick a couple from our parish community if they know of one. And that couple becomes a mentor for the younger engaged couple to help them through the journey um, of marriage preparation and ultimately leading them to their wedding day. And beyond that, to be that strength and that support when the, those times of marriage come that become difficult, where we need to rely on mentors uh, to, to help us in moments of difficulty. Even as priests, we have mentors, other older priests that we can turn to and say, hey, I'm really struggling with this aspect of my priesthood or parish life and ministry. So I, I come to, to you for, for guidance and for help. That's what we're asking our pre-marriage couples to do as well. And so if you're asked, you should see it as, not as a burden, hopefully, but as, as an honor that someone sees in your marriage true examples of holiness. A man and a woman who are striving to live out their married life to the best of their ability, who are striving to live lives of holiness and to instill those values in their families. We also have different opportunities um, for other people in our parish as well. And we would like to specifically in the next few weeks focus on the men of our parish. We know that um, statistics tell us that if men are engaged in their parish community, if men are the spiritual leaders of their families, if men are at mass with their families, then the odds that their family, their children would practice any kind of faith, they skyrocket. And so we see a need in our parish community to really turn to men and ask what you need from us. What do you need from us to help you to be men of faith? Um, and how we can help you to live lives of holiness. So we want to invite you men to a special event on Thursday, November 16th at 8 p.m. at Cowley's. You can come on over, you can grab a beer, and then we're just going to have a very casual conversation about how we can help you and perhaps what, you, what gifts you can bring to our parish community as well. So please plan to join us.